Okay, this video is on parallel lines and transversals, and in particular we're going to look at some conjectures involving two parallel lines cut by a transversal. Now we've already looked at some of these in class, so hopefully these will look familiar to you. We're going to start out with the parallel lines conjecture. Now remember in a previous video we had something called the intersecting lines conjecture. This is kind of similar. Based on a picture that I have here, where I've got two parallel lines cut by this transversal, and based on looking at this picture and, and some other kind of explorations that I've already done, I'm going to make this conjecture that if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then all pairs of angles formed are either going to be congruent or supplementary. Now, again, this is just a conjecture, hasn't been proven, but, you know, based on just kind of the, the playing around that I've done with parallel lines cut by transversal, I think this statement is true. All right, so if every pair of angles formed when I have two parallel lines cut by transversal, if every pair of angles is either congruent or supplementary, well, I want to go on then and make some more conjectures having to do with some specific pairs of angles. So, we already know about corresponding angles. We can identify corresponding angles anytime we have lines cut by a transversal. So, I'm going to go ahead and kind of based on this, you know, kind of general conjecture, I'm going to make a more specific conjecture about corresponding angles. So, for example, in this picture, a pair of corresponding angles might be, say, angle 4 and angle 8. I'm going to make a conjecture that says if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then corresponding angles are congruent. And again, based on this picture, here's a pair of corresponding angles. Based on this conjecture, every pair of angles in this picture is either congruent or supplementary. These two angles here, I notice they're both, they both appear to be obtuse angles, and so I'm pretty sure that they are not going to be supplementary angles, therefore they must be congruent angles, assuming this conjecture here is true. So I'm going to make my corresponding angles conjecture. If two parallel lines are cut by transversal, then corresponding angles are congruent. And when I look at each pair of corresponding angles in this picture, it appears that, yeah, they are all congruent. So I feel pretty good about this conjecture. I think it's probably true. Now, let's take a look at some other conjectures that we could make, again, based on this same diagram where I've got two parallel lines cut by a transversal. Now, for each one of these, so my same side interior angles conjecture, I'm going to make a conjecture about the relationship between same side interior angles. Each one of my conjectures, though, is going to start with this same phrase here, two parallel lines, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal. So each one is going to kind of follow the same format. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then same side interior angles are something, same side exterior angles are something. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and have a little, you know, kind of shortcut way of writing this phrase just because I'm going to get tired of writing it every single time. I'm going to say, I'm going to use this, 2 P L C B T, and I'm going to have this stand for two parallel lines are cut by a transversal. So rather than having to rewrite this phrase every single time, I'm just going to write 2PLCBT. So like right here, instead of writing all this out, I could have just written 2PLCBT. Two parallel lines cut by transversal. Okay, so that'll make this go a little bit faster. So my same side interior angles conjecture, let's see, same side interior angles, that's these two angles here. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then same side interior angles are, and these two angles, I've got since I've got one that appears to be acute, one that appears to be obtuse, I'm going to say, since these two angles 
have to either be congruent or supplementary. I'm going to say same side interior angles are supplementary. Same side exterior angles, once again, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then same side exterior angles are, and let's see, same side exterior angles, that might be, for example, angle one and angle six. These are same side exterior angles. And let's see, since again, angle one appears acute, angle six appears obtuse, I don't think those two angles are going to be congruent, so I'm gonna say those angles are going to be supplementary. Supplementary. All right, alternate interior angles conjecture. Okay, let's see, Alt give me a pair of alternate interior angles. Let's say angle three and five. These are alternate interior angles. So my conjecture is gonna be if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then alternate interior angles are and let's see, I've got this angle looks like it's acute, that one looks acute. I'm gonna say those two angles are going to be congruent. And finally, the alternate exterior angles, let's see, alternate exterior angles. Um, how about angle one and angle seven? So angles one and angle seven are alternate exterior angles. So if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then alternate exterior angles are, let's see, acute angle, acute angle. I'm going to say these angles are going to be congruent. Okay, so now I have all these conjectures about these different angle pairs. And again, I haven't proven them yet, but Again, based on my explorations, based on the diagrams and, and what I know about these angles, I think these statements are probably true. So I'm going to use those statements in these examples. So on the last page of your notes, it's got some examples. And notice it says, treat each example independently. All that means is there's only a single diagram here of two parallel lines cut by a transversal. You can use the same diagram for all the different examples but you're going to, each example doesn't depend on any of the other examples. So you treat each example as a separate one. So let's see what that looks like. Example number one. If the measure of angle one equals 58 degrees, so here's angle one, find the measure of angle five. So angle one and angle five. All right, so I notice angle one and angle five are corresponding angles. And I have this conjecture about corresponding angles. It says if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then corresponding angles are congruent. And since I'm pretty sure that statement is true, I'm going to say if angle 1 is 58 degrees, then angle 5 must also be 58 degrees. If the measure of angle 8 is 106 degrees, find the measure of angle 2. Now notice, again, we're treating this second example independently from the first. So the, the first example, the measures in, in here in the first example don't have anything to do with example 2. So measure of angle 8 and the measure of angle 2. So let's see, here's angle 8 and here's angle two. So these are alternate interior angles. And I have a conjecture about alternate interior angles that says that if two parallel lines are cut by transversal, alternate interior angles are congruent. So if measure of angle eight is 106, the measure of angle two must be 106. Example three, I'm looking at angles one and six. So let's see, here's angle one and here's angle six. And again, I'm treating this problem independently, so the measures here don't have anything to do with the measure, for example, in number one. All right, so if the measure of angle one is 67, on the measure of angle six. Well, these are same side exterior angles, and I have a conjecture about same side exterior angles that says if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, same side exterior angles are supplementary. So if angle one is 67, then angle six must be supplementary to that, so let's see, 180 minus 67, 7 minus 6 is 1, and angle 6 then would be 113 degrees. Now you have a couple more examples in your notes, 
and I want you to try those on your own and again using the conjectures that we just came up with and we'll take a look at these in class tomorrow.